Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create test case plan using TFS 2013 Web Access. So here's my server. I'm going to open Internet Explorer and connect with my TFS. In my case, it's Tech Brothers TFS port 8080 and TFS is the URL. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put that URL up here in Internet Explorer. And if you have TFS access, this page will appear for you. And uh, here's my team project. If you don't have a team project, then you can browse and go to the collection and select your team project. If you're using the web access the first time, you will not see the team project up here. You need to click on browse and go to the team project. So up here is my team project. I'm going to go ahead and click on team project. And up here, since we're going to go ahead and uh, create a test case plan, we're going to go up here. You see home uh, code work build. We're going to go ahead and click on test. The test interface appears in front of us. So there are multiple options to do that. But first thing that we need to create a plan test plan. So we're going to go ahead and click on new and up here there are different options for the test plan one is the test plan and static suite requirement based suite uh, query based suite just so that you know what uh, suite is in Microsoft uh, uh, team foundation web access uh, or uh, in <coughs> excuse me or in uh, um, Microsoft uh, uh, test manager suite is really a collection of your uh, test cases and also if you wanted to put the requirements you can put it in there let's say the suite is basically goes back to a project a big project and a big project have many requirements and many test cases all that all all those case uh, requirements and test cases you can put it in one suite uh, and that's called a uh, test plan a static suite or requirement based suite if you have uh, certain requirements which uh, almost every project has uh, you can create a requirement based suite right here if you wanted to create a static suite static suite is that you just create a suite and you decide whether you wanted to put requirement in there or not or you just wanted to go ahead and put your some of your test cases in there you can do that so a uh, query based suite uh, if if you click on that if you have already the requirements your test plans are already on TFS all you wanted to do is create a suite for your team and uh, give access to that particular suite where they can access that those requirements your test plans and everything you can do that as well so in this um, particular video we're going to go ahead and create a requirement based suite so we're gonna go ahead and click on that up here if you see that uh, uh, it brought us to a query in team foundation server when it comes to the run query that's not like SQL server or dot C sharp or anything that's not a, a really um, you know code that you need to write the query is basically a search feature uh, you can search based on these uh, fields up here these are the filters right here if you are working in a complex environment where there are a lot of projects there are a lot of work items and there are a lot of areas and iterations and there are a lot of other things that's happening and it would be hard for you to scroll down and go uh, here and there if you just know your work item name tag you can add new clause up here if you click on that you can put it right here you know whatever um, you wanted to uh, uh, put in your uh, where clause when you uh, click on that after you done with your query when you click on run query it's gonna give you the results based on your query the query is the field is team project if you are looking in some other project you can click on here uh, if um, up here is a test suite types uh, tries all the project that's been tries uh, you can do that team projects and watermark and all those uh, uh, this is this is really a great stuff and there are a lot of lot of uh, options for you to use so I would recommend that at least if you're not even gonna use that you should go through these um, uh, these options so that uh, you would know next time you work on a project 
whether as a tester or as a TFS user, just version and controlling and all that, you should know that what option you get in the query. So we're going to keep it a team, team, uh, team project for now. So we're going to go ahead and run the query. And based on that query, since our project uh, uh, test plan and up here is on requirement based, it brought all requirement for us that's already in our system so we can choose any requirement basically and uh, um, you know start working on that once you have the requirement you can attach all the test cases that you will put in one suite you can attach back to that particular requirement let's say your requirement is add login feature to the front page which you have created already if you don't know how to create a, a, a requirement please watch my video um, I have put put up a video uh, creating a work item requirement using uh, web access and uh, once you have created the requirement you can go ahead and choose that requirement and that requirement you will notice right here has appeared up here and now there are cases up here uh, let's say that you um, uh, you don't like you were not looking for this particular requirements you can go ahead and delete that in your test plan this is not gonna delete from TFS this is just gonna delete from your test plan so we're gonna go ahead and up here search for another requirement and right here is give access space to the vendor so we're gonna go ahead and open that up so this is my requirement and right now this requirement does not have any test cases so what we're going to do is that in this particular requirement we're going to create a test case and attach it to this requirement so we're gonna go ahead if you have already the test cases in your system you can add existing test cases if you don't have you can create test cases on the fly so we're gonna go ahead and click on new you you have an option new test case new test case using grid grid uh, I will cover this option in another video but uh, let's go ahead and do uh, new test case so up here you will create a test case uh, I'm gonna just go through that I'm not gonna create it I'm gonna actually use it one of the existing one so you just uh, go ahead and put uh, the title of your test put the tags on that and assign it this uh, up here assign it to this test case to uh, a tester and state is always going to be designed if you're creating a new one once you created that you can change the uh, the state as well so uh, up here now you can put the steps what uh, the steps a tester should take in order to complete this test case so um, uh, test requirements links attachment if you have documents related to this test scenario then you should uh, put it up here in attachment if you have the documents somewhere like your SharePoint or shared directory you can create basically a link and that person the tester will go ahead and click on the link and it'll open up for you you don't have to really attach everything up here you can create all kind of links here so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this one and we're gonna go ahead and use existing so these are my test cases right here so we're gonna go go ahead and use this test case alright as you can see the test new feature login so this test case is active right here um, once we run this test case particular run uh, uh, test case then we can if it passes we can go ahead and mark it as pass fail or not applicable or block the test that it shouldn't happen at all because it's causing issues if it's a especially if it's a build process automated process that it can cause uh, a lot of issues so we're gonna go ahead and uh, um, uh, keep this uh, as active and once you're you're done with that you can go ahead on that particular test and click on run open this or you can right click on that particular test and click run test once you run that another window will open and it'll show you the steps up here 
Now, I need to let you know up here that there is a difference between um, running the test in Test Manager, Microsoft Test Manager, and um, Microsoft, uh, in uh, Web Access. In Microsoft Test Manager, you will get some graphical interface right here, recording feature. Uh, you can take screenshots. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff that you can't do here. Up here, you still have an option, about 70% of options in Web Access, that you can create a bug, you, which you can do in Microsoft Test Manager. You can pass or fail the test right here. If you fail, you get a reason. And especially this web access is very uh, useful for the folks that uh, who just you know went through the detail test uh, uh, run before, and they just wanted to see that um, the particular things that they are looking for, uh, whether they pass or not. So uh, based on that, you can go ahead and run your test and make um, you know pass or fail. And once you're done, then you can go ahead and. Um, um, save your, you know, save your um, uh, test case and test plans. I hope this video helps.